Hi guys, today I am going to discuss about how to remove duplicate elements from an array. So I have to enter the array size, I have given 7. So enter the array elements, so this elements are into 78, 7, 6 or 7, 7, 6, 5. So I have to 7 is uh, or 3 times and here 6 is 2 times and or 78 and 5 one more times. So right here, this is original arrays. So right here, 7 or 2 times here and one more times. So total 3 times. 6 is or 2 times and 5 one time, 78 one time. So right here, the output comes 78, 7, 6, 5. So after removing duplicate elements, so this is the output gate. So 78765. So here I enter the array size. So I have given 7. So I enter total elements 7. So if you want to enter 10 elements into the array, so you have to give the size at your 10. After that, you can enter 10 elements. And if any duplicate elements found in the array, so we have to remove. So let's do the coding to remove the uh, duplicate elements from the array. Next, I'm going to discuss about the try and method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Hereafter, that coincide. So, I have taken uh, four integer variable. First is n. Hereafter, i or j. And next, x. So, at your next, control comes to this point. So, I have taken integer array type variable. So I've given the size 55. So maximum you can enter 55 elements into the array. So next is a double r variable. So here after control comes to this point. A scanner class sc new scanner system dot in. So next I created sc object of a scanner class by using new keyword system scanner class next system dot in. Now control comes to this point. So I tell system class dot or dot print and then method. So what are we double code that is print to the output screen. So enter the array size so that is print to the output screen. Here after n equal to sc dot next int. So whatever a string value that comes so that convert into integer by using by calling sc object dot so dot operator call or next in method. So that is to integer value into n. So n value I am going to enter 5. So here after control comes to this point. System class dot r dot print and method. So this or display into the output screen. Print and method. So here after control comes to this point. For loop i value start from 0. And now check the condition 0 less than n value 5. Condition is to that coincide. So at a dot r 0 position sc dot next int. So whatever string value that convert into integer and that store into a dot r 0 position. So this is a dot r. So at your 0 position I am going to enter 7. Now next that curve increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter a dot r 1 position and meet. So I am going to enter 5. So this is a 0 index. This is 1. Here after I increase, I is 2 now. Check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 2 person new element. So at here 2 person this point I am going to enter 7. Now here after I increase, I is 3 now. Or check the condition 3 less than 5 condition is to that coincide. So let's enter 8 over 3 position new element. 
So this is the three index. So right here I'm going to enter seven again. And next I gonna increase the eyes for now. So the condition for less than five condition is to that coincide. So let's enter it over four percent environment. So right here I enter five. So here after I increase so I is five now. So the condition five less than five condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So I tell system class dot odd dot printer method. So this or display to the output screen original array. So here control comes to this point. So I tell I will start from zero. So the condition zero less than n value five condition is to that coincide. So I tell system class dot odd dot printer method. So that display eight or zero percent element. So seven display. Here after I increase I is one now. So the condition one less than five condition is two. So that coincide. So this time that display eight over on one percent element five display. Here after I increase I is two now. So the condition two less than five condition is two. That coincide. So that display eight over on two percent element or uh, seven display. Here after I increase I is three now. So the condition three less than five condition is two. That coincide. So that display eight over three percent element. So here seven display here after I increase I is four now. So the condition four less than five condition is to that coincide. So let's enter eight over four percent element. So that display eight over four percent element. So five display here after I increase so I is five now. So the condition five less than five condition is not to not coincide. Here after control comes to this point. So I value zero now. Zero less than five condition is to that coincide. So I tell uh, for j equal to I plus one. So zero plus one the value come one. And here after check the condition one less than n value five condition is to that coincide. So I tell check if a over r a a over r i double equal to a over r j. So i value is zero now. J value is one. So seven uh, zero position is seven and a over r j. So one position five seven double equal to five condition is not true. So that not go to if part. So this is if part here. So that go here. So if condition is not true, so that go to else here. That increase the value of or j. So j increase. Now here after or that go. So here there is no any or uh, increment. So here check the condition. J value is two now. N value five. Two less than five. Condition is two. So at eight over or i value zero. So zero percent double equal to eight over two. So seven double equal to seven. Condition is two that coincide. So at x j value go to x. So j value is two. Two go to x. Here after two less than five. Condition is two that coincide. So at eight over or x plus one. So eight over two plus one three. So eight over three percent value go to eight over or two. So eight over or Or three percent is seven, so seven go to eight over R two, and here after that loop continues. So X is increased now. X is three, so right here seven come. So X is three now. Check the condition three less than five. Condition is two. So right here eight over R three. So I tell eight over three plus one four. So four percent value go to eight over or three. So four percent is five. So five go to eight over or three. So I tell five come. So new array elements are. So this is zero index. So I tell seven. Here. Five and here seven and next five come. So this seven move to here and this five move to here and uh, this is one two or three and uh, I've given this array size is fifty five. So rest this all place that is to double character till fifty four and here after x gonna increase so x is now four check the condition four less than n value five condition is two that coincides right here eight of our four plus one so five percent value go to eight of our four 
So this is for solar character form. Now here up to x is 5. Check the condition 5 less than 5. Condition is not to not coincide. So here yeah, that uh, that out from for loop and next that it decrease the value of n. So n is now 4. Now here after if condition is true, so that not go to as part. So here after that curve go up and here there is no any increment decrement. So at your check the condition uh, j less than 5. So j value is now 2 and n value 4. So 2 less than 4 condition is true that coincides. So at your 8 over r. So at your 8 over r. 8 over r i value is 0. So 8 over 0 position double equal to 8 over r j value is 2. So 0 position is 7 and 2 position is 7. 7 equal to 7 condition is 2. So that coincide. So here yeah, j value go to x. So j value is 2 not 2 go to x. And here check the condition 2 less than n value 5. Sorry n value is 4. 2 less than 4 condition is 2. So at 8 over r 3 position value go to 8 over r 2. So 3 position is 5, 5 move to this point and here after x increase, so x is 3 now, check the condition 3 less than 4, condition is 2, so I take 8 over 3 plus 1, so 4 position value move to there, so this point null character come and here after x increase, so x is 4 now, n value 4, 4 less than 4, condition is not to not coincide, here after that decrease the value of n, so n is now 3, and here after if condition is true, so that not go to else point here, that go, so at here check the condition j less than n, so j value is 2 now, and here n value is a 3, so 2 less than 3, condition is true, so that coincides, so at here, or uh, 8 over r i value is 0, double equal to j value is 2. So 0 position is uh, so at your new array elements are so here 7, 5. So this 5 move to 2 position. So this is 5 here, yeah, 5 and this point 7. So this is a 0 index. This is 1, 2, 3. So right here, check the condition, 8 over r 0 position value, double equal to 8 over r, j value is 2. So 0 position is so 7 and 2 position 5, 7 double equal to 5, condition is not true. So that not go to inside here, that go to as part, so that increase the value of j, so j is 3 now. Now here after that go up and check the condition, j value is 3 and n value 3. So 3 less than 3, condition is not true, so that not go inside. So here after that out from inner for loop and here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i is now 1. Check the condition 1 less than n value 3. Condition is to that coincides. So I have to j equal to i plus 1. So 1 plus 1, the value come 2. So j is 2 now. And here check the condition 2 less than n value 3. Condition is to so I have to add over r i. So add over 1 person double equal to add over r 2. So 1 position is 5, 2 position is 5, 5 double equal to 5, condition is true, so that coincides, so at a j value go to x, so 2 go to x, here after 2 less than n value 3, condition is true, so at a 8 over r, 2 plus 1, x value is 2, 2 plus 1, 3, so 3 position value go to 8 over r, x value is 2, so 3 position is value go to here, so null character comes to this point, And uh, here after that increase the value of x. So x is 3 now. Check the condition 3 less than n value also 3. 3 less than 3. That condition is not true. So that not coincide here after n decrease. So n is 2 now. And uh, 
n is decreased. So if condition is true, that got not go to else part. So here after that, go up and here check condition j less than n. So j value is now two, and n value just to decrease. So n value also two. So two less than two condition is not to not coincide. Here after that, go up increase the value of i. So at your i is two now. Check the condition two less than n value also two. So two less than two condition is not to so that not coincide. So here after that odd from upper call loop now control comes to this point. So at your new array elements are so at your this is so zero index here one. And here two, three. So zero index seven come, and next five. And here after null character move to two index. And here. So I have given the array size is fifty five. So till fifty four that is not null character. Now here after control comes to this point for i value start from zero. Or check the condition zero less than n value or two at here. So zero less than two condition is to that coincide. So at here system dot auto print. So at here that display it was zero person element. So seven display. Now here after i increase so i is one now check the condition one less than n value two condition is to that coincide. So at here that display it was on one person element. So at here seven dis or uh, five display here after. That increase the value of i. So i is two now. Check the condition two less than n value also two. Two less than two conditions to that not coincide. So this is the output gate or seven five. So at here seven five is the unique elements in the array. So duplicate elements remove. So we get seven and five. So at here seven is three times five is three times. So you can enter n value any number like uh, this time I enter five. So you can enter n value seven, eight, whatever. So if you enter n value seven, so you have to enter seven elements. So you are just trying to enter any duplicate al elements in the array and unique elements in the array, and do the same try and method. So definitely you will get the expected output. So this is the try and method of this program. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week.